here in studio, I'm joined by meteorologist Chris Edwards. So we've been talking a little bit about the humidity. I was out there yesterday. Mm. It was disgusting. I Absolutely. mean, it was it was just horrendous. But we're getting a break soon, right? We are. It's already started to arrive, and it's just going to get very refreshing. So Thank we'll all God. in unison say, ah. Yeah, a sigh of yes. relief. Yes. <laughs> Because yesterday was tropical without the pina coladas. It was exactly. Not good. Yeah. So let's look at what's changing and some good news with the lower humidity. The heavy rain is over. I didn't say all rain is necessarily over, but we're done with the heavy stuff. The humidity will continue to drop and there is a pleasant stretch of weather that lasts all the way through the end of the month. Well, August 1st is not far away. It's 81 right now in Detroit at Metro Airport. Look at that dew point 61. Yesterday it was in the mid 70s. And yes, that was very tough to take. The wind is out of the north at nine, and that is helping to bring in the drier air. So in comparison, our temps in the low 80s here in the Great Lakes looks really good because they just continue to swelter. This is blistering heat from Oklahoma and Texas all the way over to Phoenix. Look at Phoenix at 113. Today was the 29th day in a row that they hit or exceeded 110 degrees. Never been a month like that, even in Phoenix. And unfortunately, there's no relief in sight for them. So when you look at our temperatures that are upper 70s to near 80 and the dew points that are falling, already a dew point in the 40s off to the north of us in Port Sanilac, this is very refreshing. And this is one of the reasons we love the Great Lakes. We get these breaks even in the middle of summer, and they are welcome. Now, there is this one little fly in the ointment, if you will. There are a couple of showers to the northwest of us, and it looks like in the middle of the night, not during the evening hours, but in the middle of the night, we could see one or two of those showers in a couple of spots, especially on the north side of the metro area. If it does happen, it's not going to be a thunderstorm, just a brief shower. It moves out just in time for us to enjoy a beautiful looking Sunday. Here are the dew point forecasts. Those dew points are going to continue to fall down into the 50s and the 40s, and that is open up the windows in the evening and enjoy gorgeous dry air, but still sunny and warm during the day. So let's start with tonight. Tonight will overall be partly cloudy, a chance of a shower spotty here or there after 11 o'clock. Most of us will probably be sleeping if it moves through 50s to the north, low 60s in town. And then tomorrow, lots of sunshine. Sure, there'll be a few clouds as well, but the high temperature tomorrow only topping out around 78 in most spots, a little cooler if the wind is coming off the water. And this warming trend as we move into next week is very slow. 81 the temperature by Thursday. It's 84 not until Friday as there's just a chance of an afternoon thunderstorm.